suburban women. They're going to love me so much. They're going to say, oh, I wish we had that guy back. Hi, I'm Amanda Weinstein, and this is a suburban women problem. Uh, the problem with this is we still don't like him very much. We don't like him coming into our lives to tell us what we can do with our healthcare, with our bodies, with our children as parents. We don't want this extremist agenda to come in and tell us what to do. And that's pretty much their entire platform is telling parents what to do, telling women what to do. And they're kind of mansplaining to, our, to us, like what we should do with our kids, what books we should read to our kids, what we should be offended about, what issues we should care about and how we should think about them. But the truth is we have our own opinions and we have our own ways of doing things and we have our own thoughts about how we should parent our kids. And we don't need Trump or the extremist GOP telling us how to raise our kids, telling us how what decisions we should make with our body. What they want is they want to get a talking point that they want to talk at us and they think that's going to get us. Or they think putting a housewife, as Tommy Tuberville said, why did we pick Katie Britt? Because she's a housewife. And if you just see a housewife and someone acting what we think a housewife should act like, then we'll get your support. And that's why tonight I want to make a direct appeal to the parents out there and in particular to my fellow moms. But the problem is it's still all stereotypes. It's their stereotype of what they think women are. They think women are just a stereotype of a housewife and picking a housewife to do the rebuttal to the state of the union is not how you get our support, especially when you pick someone who then goes on and plays a stereotype quite poorly, if I'm you know, being honest about the acting skills, uh, right? It doesn't work, right? We don't want someone to act like a housewife to show that they have that they can get our support. That's not how they get our support. Nothing of what Katie Britt said actually has despite the fact that she was in a kitchen and somehow if she's in a kitchen, you must be talking about these kitchen table issues. None of these issues are kitchen table issues, right? We aren't complaining about immigrants crossing the border when we're at dinner with our kids, because that isn't what's affecting my kids most. What's affecting my kids most is our schools, our education system, whether our teachers are getting paid appropriately, whether we have teacher shortages, uh, whether my kid is ready for kindergarten, all of those things are really affecting me and my family, among a host of other issues. Do we have access to health care? Do we have access to child care? Those are all the issues that I hear moms talking about. In addition to, do I have access to health care for reproduction, right? A lot of what women are talking about is who's having a baby, when are they having a baby, how are they taking care of that baby? I didn't hear any of that in Katie Britt's speech in front of her kitchen. Right. I heard someone cosplaying a housewife. Right. And to be clear, right, they picked her because she is a quote unquote housewife. Right. But the problem is she's not the definition of what we call a housewife. Right. They somehow expect women to be in the kitchen and stay in the kitchen while they pick a woman who is elected uh, to office. Right. That's not a housewife. Right. And if those are the only women they want elected, are women who will listen to men and do what men say and do what men want, that's not going to go very well for suburban women. We need real policies. But this often plays well, this stereotype of a housewife, as if she's only a white woman living in suburban America who stays at home and does whatever her husband wants her to. The problem is, is I don't know any women like that. We're far more diverse and we don't fit the stereotype the GOP wants us to fit in. But they play up this misogyny of this caricature of women and that we will just bite on that, that we will play off this misogyny that, all right, here's a woman. Oh, you know, and maybe she's crazy and eccentric because, you know, all of those housewives, they're a little crazy and a little eccentric. Right. But they're not listening to our actual voice and what we actually want. And this is why the GOP and this is why Trump and Katie Britt and Tommy Tuberville will not get the support of the majority of suburban women because they play off a caricature that no longer fits us. And I don't think it ever did fit us. 
while ignoring what we really want for our families, by ignoring the fact that we want reproductive freedoms. We want the ability to take care of our families and support our families. We want things like a child tax credit. We want rich billionaires to pay their fair share so that we don't have to pay their share for them. And we can get the clothes and food and things that our kids need. Right? We want a fair system where every kid has a shot. And that starts with uh, pre-K and before, starts with prenatal care, where you want every mom to have a shot. Right? Nowhere did I hear anything about how the U.S. has very high maternal mortality rates. Right? We want to live. right? And that's tied to those abortion policies that they still support. Right? I don't hear any common sense approaches to policy that will actually help real women, real families. I hear them talking at women, telling women, you should care about what I tell you to care about. Stop caring about the fact that your kid might be shot in school. Stop caring about the fact that you're struggling to get your kindergarten ready for school and that you don't have access to childcare and need to get to work and that you don't have access to universal pre-K like all the other countries do, that you don't have access to maternal uh to healthcare that can help with maternal mortality, that you don't have access to paid leave when you have a kid, right? Stop focusing on all the things that really affect your life and focus on these things that we're going to tell you to fix, but we're not actually going to fix them. So they want us to focus on immigration. Meanwhile, they're going to stop those immigration policies. What we need to do is stop listening to what they're saying. Stop listening to what Katie Britt says. Stop listening to what Trump says. Look at what they're doing. Does what they're doing actually help me and my family and the women I know? Hands down, no. It doesn't help. They're not creating policies that actually help. They're creating chaos to get what they want. And they want chaos and they want extremism as they chip away at our democracy so that they can take over for not only our leaders, but they can take over for families and tell your kids what books they can and can't read, what you can and can't do with your body deciding when you can or can't expand your family. Those are the things that they're aiming to do. We need to look at their actions a lot more than their words and the stereotype that they try to play off of when it comes to women. You can hear more about our podcast and more about our mini series, The Cost of Extremism, by going to pod.redwine.blue.